Well, it is currently about 15 degrees here. It's been getting down to about seven degrees. And so my car has been sitting for about 48 hours uh, in this cold. So I am going to see what the temperature of the battery pack is. And then also I am going to plug it into my level two charger here at home. Cause I'm curious to see if it needs to heat up the battery pack at all to charge the vehicle. So there's the car. Here's all the snow. So I'm going to pull it up to the garage. Okay, I just pulled the car up to the garage closer to the charger. So let's connect the Bluetooth scanner. So we can see what the temperature is. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Okay, we are connected, so dashboard, number one. So we're at 68% on the battery pack. Heat is not on. The battery pack is at 15.8 degrees. Pretty cold. So I'm going to plug in the charger and we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that's a little frozen. Okay, plugged in. So now I need to tell the car that I want to charge now. So I hit charge now. You probably can't see it. It's very bright out here. Okay, now that we're in the car, it's showing four and a half hours to full charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Activate my room mode. Go to dashboard. So we're currently putting six, almost six and a half kilowatts into the battery pack. The heater is not on. Um, so yeah, the battery's still at fifteen point eight. So I guess even at this low temperature um, it doesn't need to heat the battery at all it's able to put in almost six and a half kilowatts when it's 15 degrees so that's pretty good So one thing I will say that I don't like is that I can't stop charging remotely. So let's say I'm charging now, I shut the car off, I go inside and I want it to stop charging. Let's say it gets to 80%. I'm like, that's fine. I don't need to charge anymore. You can't unless you come out and physically unplug the car. It will automatically go to 100%. Now there is a setting that you can do 80% max, but you have to do that every single time you plug in. So instead of allowing me to simply go in the app and say stop charging or set it to 80% limit or anything like that, it just goes to 100%. And I'm guessing Toyota did that intentionally because um, people will buy these vehicles and they 
they don't care about the settings. They just want to plug it in and have 100% next time they drive. I can see people complaining that their car only charged to 70 or 80%, not realizing that they had changed that in the settings or the dealer changed it and didn't fix it. So, yeah, it would be nice, again, a nice option to have, but uh, it is what it is. So we're still uh, still pulling six and a half kilowatts. The coolant for the inverter is now up to 19 degrees, 19 and a half. Well, I guess that concludes this test. I really just wanted to see if it would try to heat up the battery and use power um, to do that while charging, but doesn't seem to. Seems like it's putting the whole six and a half kilowatts into the battery pack, so cool. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. See you on the next one.